Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. Some people think Italian cuisine is better than the French one. Actually, I think Italian cuisine is the best. In this lesson, we're going to talk about comparative and superlative adjectives. So stay tuned. Let's look at comparative and superlative adjectives. Let me tell you first that I have a lesson on adjectives. If you want to watch that lesson, you may click here. Now, let me remind you that adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun. And there are a lot of types of adjectives. The first one is called the descriptive one. Um, like busy, bitter, nice, etc. The ones that describe the noun or the pronoun. Then demonstrative, much like the demonstrative pronouns. This, that, these, those. This child drives me crazy, for example. This child. Possessive adjectives, much like the possessive pronouns. My, your, his, her, etc. My uh, wife likes English a lot, for example. Then proper adjectives, Chinese, Italian, Canadian, etc. Then we have interrogative adjectives, like which and what. So, for example, when we ask a question, which book do you prefer, this one or that one? Then we have indefinite adjectives, some, any, a few, many, etc. Many people watch TV these days. And then we have number adjectives, 6, 4, 1, 11, 12, etc. He ate three burgers. Now, one last thing that I want to tell you before I erase this. Adjectives do not change. They stay the same. Though, they sometimes change when you compare two or more nouns. And I'm going to show you that. I drew a very nice diagram just for you. We're back with the diagram. So, let's look at the first rule. One syllable adjectives and you ask yourself one syllable? Yes, you can check the syllables in English on your dictionary. There you can see if it has one syllable, two syllables or more. One syllable adjectives take adjective plus er plus then in the comparative if you want to compare an, uh, a noun with another noun. For example, he is shorter than me. He is shorter than me. So short is one syllable and I added er. For the superlatives, we need to add the, the, the article the, plus adjective, plus est. So the example here, always with short, the shortest in the class. The shortest in the class. So, the second rule is two-syllable adjectives ending with Y change into I. For example, so adjective plus I-E-R plus then. She's happier than me. So, happy is the adjective ending with Y. We change the Y into I. So, happier than me. The superlative is the same, so we add the article the plus adjective plus I-E-S-T. The happiest girl I know. The third rule, so short adjectives, one syllable adjectives ending with E. Example, adjective plus R plus then. They are nicer. So, we don't add another E, we just add R. Then the superlative V plus adjective plus ST. So, the nicest boy. We take out the E and we 
just leave the R in the comparative and superlative ST. So, the uh, other rule, the fourth rule, it would be for short adjectives, one-syllable adjectives, ending with consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we double it. So, for example, adjective plus consonant plus ER. So, Kelly is fatter, so consonant, vowel, consonant. We double the last consonant, fatter, then her, then another girl. Superlative, the same thing. So, the plus adjective plus consonant plus EST. So, the fattest in the class. So, F-A-T, double the T, so fattest in the class. So, two or more syllables here, we add more for uh, comparative adjectives. So, more plus adjective plus then. For example, Mary is more beautiful, so this is two syllable, Adjective, so more beautiful than her. How do I know if it's two or one? You look up um, the word in your dictionary. So in this case, beauty, full, two syllable. So she is more beautiful than her, than another girl. The superlatives, the plus most plus adjective. The most beautiful in the class. Now, there are irregulars, like, uh, like everywhere, right? And so, the irregulars are good goes to better than, bad turns into worse than, far, we have two, farther or further than, the little turns into less than, many more than. For the superlatives, for the same adjectives, good, the best, bad, the worst, far, the farthest or the furthest, little, the least, many, the most. Few things I want to mention about uh, comparative and superlative adjectives. The first one is that besides comparing two nouns, you can use comparatives as modifiers, just like my two examples here. A tougher teacher can sometimes be better for some students. Or, he was the smartest person I've ever met. So, modifiers. You can use them as modifiers. Number two, as complements after a link verb. If you want to watch a lesson on linking verbs, you can click here. So, for example, her voice became quieter. Became, here, is the link verb. Or, his friend was the tallest in the room. Here, was, the verb to be, is the link verb. The final uh, point that I want to mention is that as headwords in formal English, putting the in front of it. Mary was the most beautiful of the two, of the two. And the last example, the more sincere the words, the better. So you can see the right here. The more sincere, the better. So now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at comparative and superlative adjectives. I gave you few rules to follow. Remember, we have many types of adjectives. Demonstrative, possessive, descriptive, etc. Remember that adjectives don't change. That's it for today, you people. Have you liked the lesson? Great! Share it, please. Have you subscribed to my channel? Well, I hope you do. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. If you wish, you can write your own example under this video. Don't forget to use comparative or superlative adjectives. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.